I'm Shelly Wood. You might know me from ShellyWood.com. This is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make, make a pair of dressy trousers, pajama pants, or jeans to fit broad kin dolls and similar sized action figures. But before we start, please go to Shellywood.com to download this free printable sewing pattern. There's a link to my website in the description below this video on YouTube. Use my pattern to cut out all four pieces that you see here. Lay one pant leg over the top of another, keeping right sides together if the fabric has a right and wrong side. Here's an example. Sew the crotch. You can see the red stitching here and that kind of guides where you're supposed to sew. It's blue stitching on the little um, light blue pants. Clip the crotch seam. Here's a, a quick clip of a, me clipping the crotch seam, seams and you can see what those clips look like in this close-up. Follow these steps for both pant legs and then open the pant pieces. Now I use a lot of scrap fabric so my plaids don't match up perfectly but that's okay. Lay one pant leg over the top of another, one pair of pants over the top of another. Just like you see here, you're going to lay one set of pants over the top of another and line up that in that out seam area, which goes from the hip down. Pin down the length of one leg's out seam. So again, that goes from the waist down the hip to the ankle area. Sew the out seam. You can hand stitch or use a sewing machine, whatever you like. And then open up these pants. And you're going to press all seams, including the crotch and the out seam that you've sewn. Now we're going to add a casing to the top. Fold the fabric once a little tiny fold and then a second time a little deeper fold. If you need help making a casing, I actually have a tutorial on that. Use a whip stitch to close your casing or you could sew it with a sewing machine. If you're not sure how to do a whip stitch, I've actually got a tutorial on that one too. Just look in the description below on my YouTube channel if you want to find those tutorials. Measure your doll's waist and then cut a piece of elastic and tack a safety pin on one end. Slide that safety pin through the casing like you see me doing here. And to prevent it from pulling all the way through, insert a straight pin at both ends of the elastic that holds the elastic in place while you work. Now you fold the pants in half. Pin down the length of the other leg's out seam, the one you haven't sewn yet, again from waist to ankle. It's not really a hem yet, but down to the ankle. And then press this seam open after you've sewn it. Double fold hem the bottom of one pant leg. Here's my double fold hem example. It's not quite like a casing, not quite as deep. Here's another one. These are polka dot pajama pants. I love that fabric. It's so beautiful. 
bought it at Michael's, by the way. And here's an example. Bring your inseams back together. So the inseam runs the inside of the leg and to the crotch. So you want to bring those back together. Pin your inseam from the hem to the crotch and then from the crotch down to the knee of the unhemmed pant leg. Sew along the same lines that you've pinned. Be sure to stop sewing at the knee. Don't go all the way down to the unhemmed pant leg. This method helps me make sure my hem edges match up evenly. It can be tricky with real tiny doll clothes. And now you're ready to double fold hem the unhemmed pant leg using a whip stitch. But like I said, make sure the lengths of this hem match up just right. Now finish sewing the inseam from the knee to the hem and you're ready to invert the pants. Now you can try them on your doll. So they make great pajama pants, but look at these trousers. Those turned out really nice too. I'd like to make a jacket to go with those, but that's somewhere in the future. We'll see what happens there. For more free printable sewing patterns to fit dolls of many shapes and different sizes, remember to visit Shellywood.com. That's my website, lots of free patterns. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and my free patterns, please tell your friends about my website where you can find free patterns for doll clothes, even like this little polka dot dress. Goodbye.